Well, here it is, guys. We're going to a map three. Newt, Newt, they took the momentum to start things off. And after that, it didn't really taper off here, Dan. I was excited. I was a little worried because that was kind of like the repeat of what we saw on map one. But uh, they, they changed their destiny here. It started to look a little bit close, especially on that second half after that 9-3, but Newt Newt, they knew how to close it out. In, in the, mo the thing that was most impressive to me from watching Newt Newt are the many ideas that they had and the adaptation that they had after DSG in that second half started getting a couple of rounds, right? Every single time shutting it down by that Yoru and, and shutting down Katarina that for three, four rounds in a row was getting that first kill. So Newt Newt really knew how to play around it to make sure the map would go their way. We also saw Newt Newt taking so much map control with uh, the combination of that raise. Honestly, a lot of props to Summertime too for uh, some really great flashes we saw out of them to, to get Malibu, to get Zen into the, to the back of the site. And that's the main thing, uh, what you mentioned, that the map control that we saw for Newt Newt on that second half, that at the beginning, uh, ESG started to take slowly, especially thanks to Katarina going for those extremity, for that extremity control every single time. And Newt Newt, they take a timeout and they start once again getting back the control of the game. And there were so many closed rounds, but uh, after the 9-3 and after those chances were denied, it was all about Newt Newt's game. And we knew going into Bind 2 that it was definitely a map that both teams were comfortable on. So it's exciting to see how they're going to be faring off going on board. Especially to, it seems like especially on Newt Newt's end, that after that first map, they were kind of fired up. That first whole half, it seemed Sapphire, it, their shots were so clean. They were so crisp. I mean, Katarina was kind of a pain for them to deal with at times. Like, let's not be... Let's not uh, be unaware of that there, but still, they played so cleanly there. Yeah, Katarina was a pain. Hannah was a bit of a pain with yeah. some some clutches there. But overall, like Newton across the board, really, really consistent. Obviously, Kari um, had some really insane holds. She's like incredible anchor on on that site. Um, but across the board, we saw some really nice moments. Even we saw some really like. Um, good multi-frag rounds, I think, from Millie later in, in the game that really secured yeah. it for them. Yeah, talking more about Kari, because you're talking about some insane holds that she had on the site. Let's look back at one of the most insane ones, because, Dan, at this point, too, I mean, DSG were throwing everything in the playbook at her. It was literally everything uh, that could be as chaotic as possible into the site and every single time uh, towards the beginning. It was a new, new that knew how to shut it down thanks to Carrie. One of the players that we highlighted at the beginning of today, we talked about how good Carrie is when it comes to the Sentinel role, when it comes to holding it down. Even on the Viper that we just got the chance to see, it was a little bit more of the same. And it is exactly what we wanted to see to put us on a map number three. It was such great holds to make sure that DSG couldn't start the game momentum at any point during that first half. But Sapphire, another person we wanted to talk about as well was Malibu. Because Malibu too, there was a couple of the plays and a couple of the pieces that they came out with. I mean, I feel like really paved the way to make sure that just DSG was stopped in their tracks. Yeah, I, you know, I think Malibu started off the, the tone of the match being on the truck in the pistol round. We never see that, right? So Malibu is trying some different things, um, you know, using those double satchels really well, using um, her opponent's satchels really well yes. um, <laughs> to, to get frags. So uh, a lot of creativity on that raise. I love to see that. I love to see a, a crazy raise over on a map like mine. That's for sure. It always livens things up, makes things interesting. Going on forward, though, the series has been a lot of fun, and we're going to get just a little bit more because we have one more map to figure out who is going to be keeping their run alive in this upper bracket and who is going to be sent to lowers right out of the gate here in the main event. We are going to go to Ascent, the great decider of all things. I think, Dan, we're going to be, it's going to be a little bit more of the boring comps, but I feel like we're still going to be able to see two very well-practiced teams. It's going to be, I really like that this is the way that we're going to finish this series. Bala was mentioning it, even with the changes for Jet, this is still a map where you expect that Jet to be played. And a Jet that has been played by both of the teams recently, but I think one little thing that has been 
kind of the difference maker for this guys on this map and how good it's look for them in a couple of scenarios is once again Katarina on this chamber they have a lot of cool ideas around Katarina especially Tori Smith sometimes she's pushing uh, by herself getting a little bit of extra support extra flashes to take control of that map early on on that defensive side and I think that could be the key both uh, for these guys and also for the reads and the new ideas that Newt, Newt can bring if they're going to continue playing that standard composition that we've seen for a while. And what we saw from Katarina on that chamber, especially in Vine, like trying to fake the site, trying to flick the map, and that's where we look to Kari on the other side with that, that Sentinel, which is usually a, a Killjoy that they play on Ascent. Um, you know, that's going to be the counter to that, and are we going to see... Um, are they going to be able to flip the map? Is Kari going to be such an anchor that she was on Bind? Yeah. See? See, where I'm a little bit worried, oh, it goes back to this chamber. Goal goes back to Katarina here is Katarina would punish every single time that someone was just a little, just an inch out of place here. I mean, off shots to just somebody's elbow to be taking them out. So I feel like, too, Dan, that any misstep here by Newt Newt's going to be really heavily punished. So you're really going to have to be really clean and really aware of where exactly she's playing at any point. And also on the other side, somebody that I want to talk about is Millie, that uh, on Bun, we saw in a bunch of scenarios doing that same play, but that being a mystery for the side of disguise and it ending pay, uh, paying off a lot more for Newt Newt. So I think Millie is one of, uh, of those keys that can really shine a lot on Ascent and, and shut down exactly what you're mentioning, Sierra. The slight opportunities that these guys like to take, that Katarina likes to take every, anytime anybody makes a small mistake that she's there. But then when you get that extra support for Millie, for Carrie, everybody else, it seems like things could be a lot closer than we expect. I'm really hoping so too, heading into this uh, third and final map here between these two teams. Like two, I mean, Clutch got at some point. That 1v3, amazing. But headed into our agent select, I feel like at this point, with what we've seen from the team, Sapphire, we're not really expecting too much of a change, but we can go dive in a little bit deeper to the sides that they're on. Nunu could be starting off on the defense, disguise, and attack. Yeah, I think like like we said, we, we call them kind of the boring comps, but it, it's it's what we expected here. It's what they've been comfortable on. Um, both of the teams have uh, won all of their Ascent matches using this comp throughout uh, Game Changers 3. So we're going to see a lot of comfortability here. Uh, you know, I like the got the double initiators getting a lot of information on the site. And then of course, we know that Kari is going to be an anchor and, and usually rotating uh, across the sites. And you mentioned Carrie, but one of the things that I'm going to be keeping an eye on is uh, when I got to see these guys when they were playing that Neon Dream tournament, they actually had a lot of ideas to shut down that lockdown, to shut down any sort of possibility for that Killjoy to find success on the enemy team. This is something that they clearly have an understanding on, and I feel like for this match specifically, now in Game Changers and the stakes that they have, they're going to be paying attention even more with this Killjoy that has been read and has been made up for so long. Well, it's time to see now in this rematch between Disguise and Newt Newt who's going to be coming out victorious in this map number three of Ascent. It's time to head over to Doug and Bala. Take us away, guys. Thank you, Sierra. Bala, while this is just the first round, it's still the upper bracket. When you think about what's up for grabs for both of these teams well into the rest of the year, the stakes could not be any bigger. Yeah, this is it. This is the last Game Changer series. Uh, for North America, and it qualifies you for the championship at the end of the year in November. So that's what is on the mind of everybody. Tried to get towards that land, the only one for the Game Changers scene, and it's a big one. Right now, both these teams, their only option is to win the event. So it's a, a tall task already, but definitely possible, especially if you stay in the upper bracket. So this map determines a lot right now, especially chances for one of these Dark Horse runs to actually occur. As we Agreed. start off with I mean, Pistol, I think Dan brought up a good point about the Killjoy versus the Chamber. Killjoy, yeah. especially Kari and DSG playing against it, having a lot of ideas to anti the lockdown. But that's not available for DSG at all. So on the attack side, you have to really work the map very well. And start on off rip. Look at this lockdown from Zen. Again, they're the ones being proactive so frequently here as DSG has to end up in the safe side. They're going to funnel out and dash already up towards A. The spam through the smoke, the spam to try to break the door as well. Finally. 
ESG out on the site to spike down the paranoia out to try to cause some more problems as Katarina's ultimately dealt with. What on earth was that? Is this another pistol in favor of Newt? I believe this would be third three out of four if they're able to pull it off and yeah, that's another round for Newt. That is so nice. Newt, especially early in these games, have been coming out to some hot leads. Every single time they win the bonus, they're converting that, or the pistol, they're converting that bonus. This is what this is what underdog stories are made of. It's winning in these key moments, starting off strong, not having to deal with, you know, a breeze come back like they did on that first map, putting them down like they did on bind. And at this point, DSG know what they're fighting against, right? They they played them before, but not this iteration. This new team is stuck together through thick and thin all year. And now that they've made a main event, they want to leave their mark. I think. Game changers have been full of teams coming in and really shaking up the scene right now. And there's Oof. a nice spam on top of the box. Surprised to see Misu go for it like that. But Summertime really ready down below too. That's an angle. The only thing you can spam is that orb. DSG going quiet about it this time. They've once again inserted Katarina in towards B. Meanwhile, the rest of the team... Takes a trip down Cat, right into where Millie is waiting. Still has a couple smokes, still has a paranoia too, and that's going to cause them to scatter. And again, I mean, the formula there is very similar. Draw some noise on the other side, see if that causes movements and rotations for Katarina to be able to punish, or if it's not Katarina, whoever else is sitting out on the lurk. This time not able to get a kill, but some damage dealt. Turret there to actually... Help Summertime get that shock up, but gets punished from Katarina, like you mentioned. 30 on the extremity. seconds left. And that's pulling the rotates. This is what we were seeing on Breeze. Have success for DSG. This time a 4v4, and they might be able to get an isolated kill here, and they do. What? I thought for sure Unstable was just, had just gotten up too far. And was perhaps being a little bit aggressive, a little bold. I mean, Katarina still even had the teleport to be able to quickly exit out of B and hit the faster rotate. This has just been surgical from DSG, but they've got to be able to convert. It's still just pistols, and there's still guns on the other side for Newt. They've done well to get this far, though. No way. Unstable with another. A 3v3, now a 2v2. Katarina left alone. All this work done for it to come down to a classic. The Dink dealt, trying to push the other carry on the swing, finally. And that's another round for Newt, but a costly one. Yeah. Cool attempt there from Katarina. If she gets that classic kill, she's on top of Jen. Keeps the momentum. Yeah. yeah. This is both, unfortunately. That late lurk. It's tough to actually pull off when you run out of headhunter bullets early. Getting some entries, yes. And that's okay to go from DSG. Put some damage into Newt, but we've seen this before. Remember, Katarina almost pulled off an ace clutch in that eco on bind, but still Newt converted the bonus. Still. They found damage, and look at this flop flash ready. Four, three players to push close. It's only the KJ on the other side of the map. Chat's gonna go forward. A paranoia really high into this to push Katarina off, and the TP is still good to actually hold on. I mean, and to dart too. I don't think they're expecting. Yep. Yeah, that's a crazy angle. Yeah. Katarina, no way you're expecting somebody all the way left in that spawn. You expect them to scatter towards tiles, maybe, but. Yeah, not back there. Lazy Lion getting another one. Spam through the smoke out on Akari. 5v3 in favor of DSG, who are still looking for their first round on the map. And they seem to be well on their way. And for the first bonus loss to come in this map right here, is probably yeah. the most significant here for Nuke, because this defensive side, they need to string as much as they can. So Big right ground there. out from DSG. Exactly. Exactly. You're not getting off to that same start. And out of all the maps, this one would have been the most comfortable one to, you know, go down 9-3 sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But still, especially when you're not talking at the top, the top level, that's where you start to really thin the edge that the defensive side has. But everywhere else, it's still significantly defense-sided, especially when you're dealing with this comps. And there's only one difference in this, right? It's only the chamber versus the KJ. Right. I think everything that you know about the regular game comp stands up. One surprise. 
knife tagging onto Millie. Unstable has already taken all of Cat. You still have the alarm bot out from Kari, who's controlling mid. Ahead. Where do they go from here? It's a lot of things to have to dodge all at once. Paranoia now in the face of Unstable. And they're going to hold for just a little bit longer. I, I like that Millie is just always using that as a first line of defense on Cat. Yeah. Just pushing them off. And Malibu and Zan have been working the flashes this entire time. You saw it in the round prior on Take that place. Flight. And you already seen two, one in A-Man and one on Cat. So they're setting up Zen fantastically, but DSG is doing a great job getting that util out. Right now, there's very few pieces left here to actually hold on to the site. They've gotten mid. It seems like they're going to try to split out onto B. Right here. And, it, and that really has oh. been commonplace. Katarina's left for a late lurk to see if they could catch anyone rotating. Either way, Kari feeling some of the pressure. So let's able to swing around. Seemingly sliding across ice, somehow gets away with both. And now here comes that late flirt, the late flank. Katarina left alone now a 1v1. That's just 30 HP on the side of Millie too. The spike now down, 13 seconds left. It's going to be on Katarina to go forward, and they doesn't realize that there's players right left. behind them. I have the spike. Oh my goodness, how's she got that four? Yeah. That's crazy too. Malibu back up in this as well. Yeah. They wrap around for that too. I think the important thing there is because that body is sitting there as KO, you know that space is clear. And right. so she's happy to come back into it. This one, this one, again, no utility. Here. Maybe there's a shock dart coming in, some spam, something like that. But in terms of the help, you're not seeing the flash from Malibu because she's last rotate and she's already uses those flash. So she's purely staying up from the will of her. Own self. Kari is disgusting in those anchors positions. The desk was talking about how significant it was on bind. And you were mentioning the lurk from her on bind as well. Yeah. She has multiple Shock. sides to it now. Shock tried to break the alarm bot here in mid. Disconnect. And those cloud bursts really don't last very long now, do they? <laughs> Oh, a little makes, bit of damage there. It makes a big difference when you're going for these mid splits. Like you can see right yeah. now, it only gives you time to cross. So you have to be quick with it. You have to make mm -hmm. that decision. Oh, right. right. Now, yeah. again, pressure yeah. on the backside here. Ult to clear out as well. That Hunter series big. They don't know sometimes here. There, now. Down. My ult is the right. <laughs> and again, that's certainly going to confirm things. The dart in her lap, understanding there's a whole lot of pressure, but Summertime still somehow gets three. <laughs> And the crazy part too, if she doesn't get that, Millie is ulting in front of her. And oh that, yeah, she's that, dead. That's a dead, yeah, that's a dead ult, essentially. And they got the full sight, so good, good on Summertime to hold it down. Great setup. <laughs> I, I think from, from Kari in Summertime, just doubling up backside. I'm surprised, okay, they did know that she was there the entire time, but dodging the ult. I'm surprised that ult didn't get more value, because it's one of those ults that consistently you can just clear out. Yeah. Didn't quite see where it was ulting from though, so. But either way, huge out from Summertime. Yeah, the value wasn't as good, but also a lot of kudos Getting to Summertime hit. and the fact that she was able to dodge all that, stay alive, still get two. Pistols for DSG. We've seen a couple of pretty crazy eco routes so far. But doesn't seem like that's going to be the case this time. It's strange there that Unstable goes for that peak because last time they flashed through that. And, or they go for the, the time, you know, one, two, three out of the spot. Yeah. yeah. This time, maybe the idea wasn't quite communicated of exactly what they were going to do, so some freedom given to the players. Not ready yet. And you know what's crazy, too? Remember, every time you converted that bonus and they went up 4 0, you saw a timeout. Right. This time, it's the same sort of outcome with the scoreline, but the timeout is going to come way later. It's probably going to come here for DSG, but yeah. I mean, what it, it feels like we haven't even departed from the script, right? It's no, the exact no. same situation. I mean, we know it's truly on the script if Poach calls a timeout here. <laughs> it's not coming. No? Uh, We're off script, folks. We're off on. script. And I, I, I do think, though, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that, given what you were talking about earlier regarding the defensive side of things. I mean, I, I think if you're DSG on attack, you get as much as you possibly can. Uh, but, uh oh uh, but you hang on to him in case things get really sideways on defense. Yeah. 
I don't know, that last round to me looks like the plan wasn't quite there, and that's something that I want to get ahead of either way. Yeah, sure. It's the same idea every time. Break that alarm, Bob. Pressure mid a little bit. For, force somebody to cover what could be a B split. This time they're following up a drone into Cat first. Bolt coming in from B side. Gotta be careful. Katarina is here. Oh, Summertime was holding it too. Or excuse me, Kari was holding it too. Between that and the final pulse of the ult, that was enough to clean her up. Position again, drone as well to delay a little bit more. Not this once more. Right? Summertime has already made a, a meal of DSG here, but this time, dropped by Misu. And is holding a cheeky angle. There's a lot she's gonna have to deal with too. And she is the dam here. She's gotta be able to try to keep the flood back. But holy smokes, Misu swinging at just the right time. Getting DSG their second. Yeah, that's beautiful stuff there. Both of the players swinging off the flash as Misu uses her ult. And they're just not quite aware of the position there. Almost holds on the backside there again from summertime. Yeah, yeah. Playing up this time though. And DSG finally that default working. I think poking Cat first helped a lot. And I even think, despite the fact that Kat Katarina went down there, pressuring enough in B main makes it so much more difficult for them to hold on to that market push. You can see Get that didn't come through in the bar round. Summertime's found a lot of value, but this time unstable as Knives goes up top. No Odin this time around. Part of that too is getting that early info about the knife, where the Sova's position is, she going for spam, and using a little delay to get in. No adjustment from Newt either though, in terms of setup initially. But this time they've given up A main because of that early pick. Zan's got the op online, and the issue, not actually fainting this time, going straight up for it. That dart's not gonna tag Zan. Oh yeah. Oh, Spike I mean, you talk about little things like that. If that dart's higher, they know Zan is up there. Maybe they don't take the angle, or you know, maybe they don't swing. They do something else to clear that out. And here comes the that cost a life. There is a paranoia set up here for them to push the door, like Dan was talking about. Really creative ideas, and they might end up getting it. Yeah, they will. There's the paranoia, but it's costing Lazy Lion's life. And it's actually pushed two players into tree in a position that really isn't super ideal for this post. No. One enemy remaining. Unstable finally falling hand to left in this 1v3, having to reposition. Zan's gotten it to half, but did he get a couple here? Oh, not able to, though. Malibu swings just a little bit wider, and Newt gets to six. You can see what I'm talking about with that committal to breaking the ult. Two players yeah. get stuck on catwalk, divided up from the rest of the team. Nobody on site to prevent the flood, and that just makes it so uncomfortable because the player in tree stayed alive, all right? So you're getting pinched from two sides. The player AMA is completely smoked off, can't contribute at all, given the fact that they already used their flash to help the team break that lockdown. And the streaks coming in for Newt consistently in this first half. This one, the one where you expect it the most. That's finally also going to get us that timeout, that, that heavily talked about timeout that perhaps feels a little bit later than forecasted. But still, I mean, you know, given how everything has gone, and again, given what we know about this map and what's possible, ball, this still has the potential to be a very competitive, very, very fruitful half for DSG. But, man, Neuter just playing so well. Yeah, absolutely. I, 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 we're not necessarily needing to see the depth that they, we saw on binds, but there's right. some situations here where, for example, Malibu setting up Zan as much as possible with the op. Right. Uh, you're seeing the double of the Sentinel and the Sova, Kar Kari and Summertime, do such work on the B side. What I want to see a little bit from them, too, out of this timeout is start to be a little bit more aggressive on fighting back against the, this alarm bot breakage. Because they're not really setting, switching up the early setup. It's always that alarm yeah. bot. It's always a Sova the KJ playing on this side. Malibu's got a knife line up. I'm not quite sure if that's going to go duck, duck. deeper A main or what. Duck, yeah, duck. deep A main. Confirms that they're not doing a regular default because always somebody's got to be there. Mm. Let's see a double shot combo at the beginning of the round. Terminated. For summertime. And the defensive side of Ascent continues to reign supreme, but DSG may have found an opening. They have a numbers advantage, and yeah, the stable's a little weak, and yeah, it's just two pistols. 
but they're surrounded. They're flanked by rifles. And now the op in the hands of Lazy Lion. They've scooped up the rewards and they have control. Yeah. But remember, the last time they did work here on this B post plant was when they had B main control. This time Malibu's coming in from B main. There's no sentinel utility to actually spot that out. So they're forced onto staying on site. They've hunkered down. They have really no choice. Can they dig their heels in? Can they hang on? Canarito looking to play first contact. The flash timing was beautiful. Oh my goodness. Still numbers in favor of DSG. Still the op in the hands of Unstable now. There's the first. Off the dash, 3k for Unstable. Hannah gets the last. DSG get three. And it's super important out of the timeout to break some of that momentum, continue yeah. to get a couple because right now you're already approaching good half on this attack side. See if they can get up to four. Anything more is just icing on the cake. Dude, need to find ways to switch it up, and you can see it on the mini-map already, Doug. Look, three players inside of mid. It is an op from Zen, though, so really just looking for early picks Check rather than down. early aggression. And potentially fast rotates, maybe as well, trying to punish the fact that it's Chamber holding the flanks rather than a KJ. With the third. That's certainly a great start. Oh my goodness, I thought Malibu was going to turn on that. Now the op taking a little peek, and I don't know if you had a chance to see it, but Katarina is holding the op back in spawn. She was on top of that box, <laughs> expecting, I mean, almost fully convinced that there was going to be pressure coming in towards A, but yeah. now the reposition. something that yes, she has been really relying on to gain an edge here in this series against Nude is this mid-round. On a sense so far, you're seeing it really come into effect. Yeah. Because there's some pacey mid-rounds from them, right? Running it down B in the last round. In this case, slowing things down after the mid-aggression. Realizing that A is going to be that weak side. Might be one player on the side maybe playing complete retake, and that is what's happening. That knife was close, but it didn't tag anyone up in heaven. So you still have the drone that's coming out. You still have smokes that can come out too from Million. And now the nade, but the swing up from Summertime, who's just had a freaking field day. This map gets another hand of left in a 1v2. Op still in the hands of Zan. Spike in tow. They both double swing. I mean, the double pop swing from, <laughs> from out in heaven. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. But also really nice from them. I was, I was thinking to myself, you know, panic mode. Let's well, not panic mode, but let's chill, 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 chill. Let her plan. Yeah. And we'll go from there. Look at this early aggression too. The shocks coming in on tiles. The dart coming in at the same time. Early kill from Malibu. Yeah, they, they end up trading, but so very effective. And that moment you're talking about the pop and swings coming in from both Gary <laughs> and Zad. It's just wild. Yeah, I mean one alone is annoying to deal with. <laughs> Too, it's just too much. Malibu with ult online. The knife out forward as they seem to take early aggressive pressure. Dude, they're so... I mean, they're not taking a step back at all. They're taking the fight to DSG every single round. Now look at that spam coming in, too. It's hard to actually peek back against Malibu. This yeah. time they're getting the advantage, though. But they don't spot Zan. What a Malibu. shot for Katarina. Yeah, it doesn't matter at all. So that aggression that Nude has been switched up onto completely punished but they still want more and they remember the reaction the last time let's walk back into a from dsg and katarina looks to explore what might be such a good play from summertime she's Walking so far up oh. and she's healthy too All the oh time. my goodness oh but the trip she still gets the kill hey talk about going back just a moment Numbers in favor of DSG. The old still oh, online the for Lazy Lion. My goodness, There's that would have been crazy. Yeah, that would have been absurd. But still, it seems left. like they're going to be able to get the spike Five down. 30 planted. seconds left, and now everything resets. Kari in summertime looking to try to retake the site back from DSG at a numbers disadvantage. The paranoia buys a little bit more time. And now it's just summertime. Summertime's been good. 58 HP, though. No armor and Odin and way too many targets to deal with. DSG, if, I mean... I, I take four on attack side of set any day of the week. The yeah, absolutely. I'm looking for the money right now from Newt because, you know, that's a couple flipped rounds in a row. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. not great. Not great, but still very doable. And Newt is one Samikos. Neutralized. Hasn't quite needed it on this map. Dude, I wonder, 
I wonder what compelled Katarina to come back there. <laughs> it's just her team had such an easy job of taking the site. That's why she's wrapping back and thinking, okay, maybe I can hold the flank from this far, or I can also you go for a re play, play. Play. Yeah. Narrowest of margins, but DSG managed to pull it off. Now, last round of the half, you hear Look the ult online. That's possible for Zan right there to go for a deep peek past that smoke, mm -hmm. but calling it off. Silence across the map once more. Finally. I think they might go for it again here. Rough. Maybe with a dart coming in from summertime too. They're both in market right now. They definitely want to continue to challenge mid. Yeah. Between that and then you've got presence up in tree. Here comes the flash. I think it's coming now. Zan pops the dash. And there it was. That knife is going to tag a little bit. Lazy line still falls and that's going to be enough Spike to prompt for the swing. Mid. Look at the difference you get when you go for different ideas here. The issue, twice in a row, they fight with the mid push from tiles. And it's coming straight up from mid. Here, you're playing with the flashes, you're playing with the util. It's not just dry. It's not just spam hoping to get Malibu in a deep position while the op is up. Setting up your star player in Zan. 30 seconds left. Clean shot, a needed one if they wanted to keep a chance in this thing. Yeah, but Spike on Katarina right now. She has to turn tail, run towards the safe site. There's mollies on the site, and you also have the ult from Summertime. This round is over. 13 seconds left. There's a paranoia. The two mollies are popped, and now with 10, 10 seconds, seconds left, left, you imagine the ult is just inevitable. Perry finding a beautiful timing, but it just wasn't enough. The gun disadvantage, three seconds. Not going to happen. The Spike does not go down, and that's eight for Newt. I mean, still a solid half from them, for sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll have to see how this attack side is from them, of course, but both sides. I mean, you'll take those, like you said, from DSG. And Newt, I don't think they're going to be super mad about that, though. The threat did fall away from them a little bit. Not quite like we saw in Breeze, but also not finding the exact success that they found on Bind as well. Now, though, with like we were talking about, the KJ versus Chamber here, I think this attack side is a little stronger for Newt just based off of the lockdown alone. If they could start to farm those orbs up. Remember, though, that is a nine point ult at this point, so it takes yeah. a long time. It's not as big of a factor, not as big as an advantage as you might think when you first hear that sentence uttered. Plenty of work to do. Can they hang on to this four round lead? One half to decide it all. Zan's already out on site. The door is hit. And they've gotten on to B for free. The question is, how are they going to deal with this ferocious attempt at a retake that's coming in from DSG? It's an interesting plant to in the doorway. Rather than tucked in the corner. I think when you have so much space on site, you kind of have to use what you have. Oh, this is going to be a bloodbath. You're talking about a 5v5 on B. There's no one who's playing off site for the attack inside. They're all hunkered in. No frenzies either so on these, all these close range fights. I mean, what utilities even left? Misu still has two flashes. I see him already procced on the first, but time is running low as well. I, I, this is going to be insane as the kill feed finally starts to erupt. Two in favor of Newt, the other two back in favor of DSG. 3v2 on the defensive side. Time is so short. They don't but have they've it. somehow pulled. Have they not? They don't, Do they, they don't not? One enemy remaining. No way. Yeah, you were right about the time, the entire... I'm surprised when, when you mentioned that, I'm like, wait a second. This is actually one of those moments. And there's just, there's just not enough. Again, all hunkered down. You're thinking they got to wait for this util to come in, but so many pieces there from DSG was coming in from the backside. It was coming in from the flank. It was coming to clear B main. So there's all that time being spent before they can actually fight where everybody is. Yeah, they get some early picks. The spam on Zen, the yeah. no, most notable one. But look at this, too. This is now, I mean, two pistols, one from Nude on this map. Yeah. And when you talk about, like, maybe a weaker start to that defense half, I mean, not start, but overall result. Right. Winning the pistols, everything. Yep. Uh, if, if history shows us, they love to win these bonuses, too. So, I mean, that's basically... I can't use that. And potentially wrapping up the game if they can find one of those streaks again. Look at the stack from DSG. All five players on this B side. And, and look at where, where Neuter headed. Yep. 
Got this flash set up so that Unstable can peek. I mean, Katarina has to find some value, right? The, the value Clearing out of the drone. <gasps> no way! This, yeah. oh, okay, it turned around. But that's the flash peek now coming in. No, they're actually made it off. Running into the stack still, though. Trying to find some value out of the utilities, Lazy Lion, and through all of that, left alone. But a 1v2, this is doable. Makari's just not, just just too good, right? The positioning was great, the gun difference was great. Yeah. And Nuke gets a 10. Yeah, but that's value there from BSG. I mean, talk about, yeah. you know, needing to claw back in on those Ecos. Like, getting three players down is huge. But still, two rifles actually stood tall for Nuke. And they probably picked up the Sheriffs, too, so... Bonus is probably still very well alive here. I mean, the utils were just out there from all sides of DSG. You couldn't go for that flash peek because the, the flash got naded off, actually. Right. And Unstable couldn't peek from stairs. Can you get a free one here? Yes, you are. Wow. Lazy Lion with the opener. But they're still going to commit to this. <laughs> Stan tried overwhelming Lazy Lion. I respect it, man. Even with un a one updraft, that's still possible. Again? Another instance where I felt like Katarina was able to dodge the drone, and this time she was. Whoa, things falling out of control right now, actually, for the players on the B side. Yeah, at the hands of Kari. Huge 2K. There's more space here for Kari. Yeah, but there's still so much work to do as well. Summertime alone once more. And DSG get to five. You've seen moments like that where there's an Odin on that corner on stairs. Where you could just get so many good flicks off on any of that mm -hmm. market spam. Because that market wall is crazy spammable. If you try to fall off of it, you're getting killed anyways. Yeah, it's all paper thin, yeah. Surprised they don't go for the plant though instead. I mean, that's an ult or some money back up. Which, yeah, in the long run, don't worry. makes a big difference. I'll keep quiet. Sure, yeah. Five rounds separating these two squads. Three suppressed. There. Oh, that's a lot of info off that knife. I love that out from Nuto. They just hold. They freeze. Look at Katarina's aggressive position. You've got the, the teleport to keep her alive, too. It's just got the dash out of Unstable right now. Oh, wow. And this position is crazy. Reclear coming got, in from Cat as well. The issue being very some, proactive. Got to find some value. Can she get at least one? At least one and get away. Oh, my goodness. They're not even going to challenge it. <laughs> Seems like Newt have a couple of different ideas on what they want to do to this round. Not really convinced on any of them. Just one shot. One bullet was all it was, and that surely is going to be enough for them to go away off of that. The paranoia instantly comes out. Misu gets away with getting a kill on the melee, and now they've got the Hunter Shiri to play with as well from Lazy Lion. They are up in tree now. Nah, the window push could have been devastating. Could have been huge, yeah. Excuse me! I mean, it still might be. It still might be. But Malibu's, that was, a, I mean, that's now a 1v3. That was a 1v4. And yeah, that shot's going to end up on Twitter, but... <laughs> In a round loss? Yeah, you're probably right. That's Might still pretty to look at, though. You know, one Ten of those seconds left. Things. Yeah. <laughs> Save the gun, maybe? That's what she's looking for now, now. Not going to happen. Yeah, she, I mean, multiple prongs there. And I think most of them found value. Katarina's really insane off-angle inside of uh, B-Main. And you had the A main presence that uh, Millie ended up falling to. You also had before that a reclear on Cat. I was mentioning a lot how Newt is just crazy good at proactivity. And DSG just took the page out of their book right there. It feels like it's honestly long overdue, too. We haven't seen a whole lot of that. Mm. One of the maps that's a little more simple to go for. It. Yeah. All the different information. I like the idea with the dart going over top. Nothing here to yeah. actually have found it, but... <laughs> Makes it all good, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, deep trip. Just tucked around the corner. Makes it diff more difficult to clear yeah. without really exposing yourself. Don't it's, punish them. It's pretty surprising that that trip is still being able to be used with the chamber. I mean, that's why chamber's a little bit more possible on this map. It's like you used to see on this map. 
But because the range was nerfed, you couldn't see it for quite a long time. That's what you can never see it on this map. A little bit of action leaning towards A as kills go traded. Tit for tat. Unstable weak here. Got that paranoia set up. It's only going to tag onto one, but that was the right one. Uh-oh. Finally falls. Summertime. No longer alive in the swing at the time. The familiar there was beautiful. Things have gone very sideways, Bala. An upgraded weapon in the hands of Zan. Spike planted. But now it's Millie alone. Fake TP. Oh! One more. 30 HP. This is so doable. But Lazy Lion clutches it out. That was unreal. <laughs> These players are so sick. I mean, two crazy flicks. And potentially I mean, winnable rounds too, man. Yeah. You, you gotta run that back. I gotta see that again. Malibu's flicking the last one this time, Billy. Another clutch attempt. We saw a massive come up from her. On binds. There it is. Yeah. Down. And that calls the timeout. Newt hanging on to a lead, but it's getting smaller and smaller with every moment that passes. No, for sure. Remember, though. Again, for their attack side, that was an eco last round. Did some damage. Mm. I think one thing, we were talking a lot about the trip in that round, the chamber trip. You saw how Dishy was constantly shocking that down. I would love yeah. to see Summertime start to implement the same sort of thing. Because mm -hmm. that's where Dishy found their success on the attack side, right? It was constantly pushing that mid, constantly threatening it, making it difficult for those B players to stay hunkered down. They always had to fall back in the backside or end up playing offside entirely. And a couple of rounds come in where... That comes to fruition, and that's enough on the attack side. We, we went from talking about them winning the pistol, Newt, and potentially being able to close out the game if they won that bonus to disguised, putting together three rounds in a row on defense. And it's a map of streaks for this defensive side. And they've got themselves up to a place where it's very comfortable, right? They've got the op, they've got the Odin in full swing. They're winning rounds because of it. Dude, do you I mean, this setup, it was off the flash, and there's a counter paranoia setup, but the space is given up now. That would have been sick. It's tough there for Catalina. She has you to stay in range of the TP. She's going to get knifed as well. You can't yeah. allow yourself to get stuck in wine, even though you have a flash. Yeah. It's a lockdown, too. That's why they were even going for that in the first place. Are they trying to punish this? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Spike one for one. And one player detained too. As Kari gets a kill across the middle of the map. Unstable, patiently waiting. Go. Oh no. Spikes TP that to be right free now. One. Blades online. She tries to make a play, force something out of a mess that was made. Spike planted. The problem here, Newt is not being able to cross mid super fast. So this flood from the two players from spawn is going really fast. They're trying to find the omen by themselves. It's a good plant for the players coming in from B main. It's spammable. Millie's got to hold the line and cannot. A little bit of damage help, but that's all it was. Misu may be trying to get it to half. You see the ping, it's there. Lazy line with one. Misu can hold it the entire way. And she does. DSG get to eight. The pressure is mounting for Newt right now. They had the opportunity. They won the fights in mid, but they slowed down. And they just leave Millie on a complete island. If she gets one there, that's a different story, of course. And very possible in a 1v2, but great idea from DSG to just run it down at those players. I mean, that was brilliant. Understanding the timing, understanding the positioning. It's oh, DSG get to eight. <laughs> down to two. Get out of my way. And only pistols here, except for Kari with the Vandal. She's been insane for sure. Don't get me wrong. Katarina is starting to play such cheeky positions on this map. I mean, this looks to be the most fleshed out chamber map that DSG have in their pool. And when they're committing to it so often, you have to expect one of them will come at some point. Oh. So you mentioned the rifle in the hands of Kari. The only other tool that they had was the blades for Zan and the hole. Just whoa, whoa, whoa. nullifies it all. But hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Everybody goes down. It's just unstable with an off. Might be able to pick up it, one in heaven. I mean, it was Kari. It was Kari with the rifle, as you mentioned. Hand it over to Millie. Kari now with the Phantom. The op in the hands of Unstable. It looked so right and went so, so wrong.
This would be ridiculous. I mean, surely you just keep the op here, right? Money's not great. You certainly can't afford to buy another. Yeah, that's true. And especially with all the Uta thrown at. Yeah. Unstable in that position. There's just no room to really do anything. You're right. I think looking for the pick on Malibu is definitely possible. Knowing the position where they planted, they're stuck there. Thrifty. But what a round. I Out mean, of give, give me that Kari POV <laughs> right now. Dude, that's just insane. I, I think, too, they're DSG kind of forcing to play in there because Katarina has a very interesting setup on site as well. Mm. But... Swinging. You think right here, Katarina in that smoke. Misu losing track of Kari inside the smoke, pushing into that. That's what you're talking about. That's disgusting. Hero rifle. Remember, they didn't save it. They didn't do anything like that. That was a hero no. rifle bought up from Kari, too. Yeah. That's a swing round and a half. Look at the money from DSG. And, and I think, remember, too, it the only other thing that they had was the blades, and the blades were down at that point. Yeah. Zan got that or, Yeah, instantly, I think, no yeah. commanded off the rip from yeah. Misu. It was insane. I mean, what a roundup from Kari. And now, now, on the flip side, you've got the no command from Malibu, as this timeout comes in as well. The DSG, I think they're going to have to try to hold on here, go for a force, and that's not a situation you really want to deal with. If it works, it works. They've got the ults for it, right? You've got Katarina with a Tour de Forest. Unstable has an op, though, so that's double opping at this point. It's going to be something they can figure out in this timeout, DSG. They've been great out of them, but they need to be excellent. Oh, no. Well, folks, we have another mouse issue. <laughs> we'll see how long the delay is this time, but if the suspense wasn't building enough, we've got a little bit more. Just inject a little more drama into the situation. I want to take this moment to once again lay the stakes out for those of you who are watching at home who maybe haven't been keeping up for the entire year and are just now tuning in. You've decided to tune in at just the right time. This is the very last tournament to decide who gets to go to the uh, to Game Changers Champions in Brazil. And for these two teams, there's only one spot left. And the only way to do it, if either Nude or DSG go, is to win out the entire tournament. There's no other room for points up for grabs for either of these two squads because they hadn't amassed enough points up until this point to be able to qualify that way. They have to win out. And how much easier baller would it be for you to get the opportunity to do that through the winner's bracket? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we already talk about so frequently, you know, the winner's bracket advantage in that grand finals. If there's mm -hmm. anybody who can eventually take down a D1, <laughs> that's what it's going to take, right? It's going right. to need to be winning against them in the upper bracket final, getting that advantage of the best of five, getting both bands, and even that is tough ask, but I think you're looking at the skill that both of these teams are displaying at this moment, and you're thinking, yeah, if there's ever a, ever a chance in the game changer scene for something like that to happen, it, it could be, it could be, especially when the stakes are that high. I mean, it's a very normal situation to end up with, uh, at least in NA, a team who's locked <laughs> in because of points at this point. Yeah. Because Mel and Alexis on B1 have won every single game changers possible. So you're looking at history for one of these two teams. But I do think, especially for new viewers to game changers, right? Nude is a team that's never made a main event. We have always a couple of these teams that turn heads when it comes down to the final game changers event in North America. And Nude is one of those. It didn't make it in the last time because they lost to DSG which was DSG's first main event last time around. <laughs> yeah. It, you're looking at a lot of new faces, and that's that's yeah. just wonderful to see. Now that's both of them so... going head-to-head -head is so nice. Yeah, it's just so good for the scene, man. So many good storylines that have been built and told throughout just this year. And for it to culminate in this in this moment, it's just so good. Again, loser's bracket still available, but as Bala was just mentioning, there are, so many, there are so many advantages. You get the double map ban in the grand finals. You don't have to go through the gauntlet of playing through the lower bracket and all yep. of the pressure and everything that comes along with that. And yeah, you could argue that a lower bracket run refines you as a player, refines you as a team. But, I mean, <laughs> the path of least resistance is often the better one. <laughs> so we'll see how they're able to pull it off. Again, a map, uh, excuse me, a technical pause due to a mouse. 
we're getting it situated we're figuring out what's going on we'll get you back into the action as soon as possible newt hanging on to a lead and They've kept it scrappy, but it really feels like DSG has a lot of the momentum here, given that it's a defensive side of ascent, given that they were, what, it was 8-4 at half. They've been able to amass more rounds together. It's 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 going to be a very good end of this map, Paula. Yeah, absolutely. And the winner's bracket, like, upper semis gets played today right after this. So Which is crazy. At, it's crazy. You're looking at on the other side, too, if you're looking for an update on the other game, who, who the winner of this will go up against. It's yeah, totally. Shopify versus EG right now, which is also tied up one-to-one. -one. They're in a map three as well, which is, you know, Shopify, one of those teams that I think if you looked in last year, like, oh, yeah, for sure, one of the favorites. And they've kind of fallen from favor in that regard. Mm. So and you're looking at one of those two teams coming through i think being on even footing which with everyone comes through here this is a real chance for both these teams to strike right now hey i think e eg you talk you mentioned them going up against shopify right now eg are looking really good right they seem reinvigorated they're putting a lot of things together the other thing worth mentioning too for shopify is that due to points they've qualified they're going Right there, there is just that one spot left. Version one to punch their ticket to Brazil. Shopify punch their ticket to Brazil. There's just that one final pivoted and coveted spot uh, left available. And it all, I mean, if it's going to be one of these two teams, they're going to have to win it out. They, they're not going to get through points. They're going to have to beat every team here if they want to advance. And you mentioned it. What, what history that would be if they were able to pull that off. What outrageous odds they would have to get uh, overcome to get there the game state right now as we're still <laughs> working on the catch and release on this mouse issue we're still <laughs> looking at such a close game it's been a battle uh scoreline 11 7. Newt barely in the lead holding on to this defense or this attacking side which again we've been talking a lot about the comp how defense sided it could be how it's a game of streaks dsg was really really nipping at their heels but they come out with a crazy eco round, just last round. Just last round. Could mean everything for the next plan that comes out of this. This was also attack timeout too, from the side of DSG. This is super important, no matter what, that these teams are getting on the same page with their teammates and we're hopping back in. 15 seconds on the freeze time. We were just mentioning the money situation from DSG. This is it, right? 11-8. They're going for a Hail Mary because they saved a knot last round. They're not actually fully investing with a couple of these players. But the Tour de Force from Katarina is not going to be spent. Unstable saved a knot and she gives it to Katarina. Xan has somehow found some space. I really like that, but I mean, still giving away. Having to dash out of the position she was in. Yeah. Love the late. No command two coming in. Now Summertime has the option to play for Not just free if she so desires. Instead goes for a drone to maybe get a tag while they don't have anything to respond with. More oh, space gosh, that was bold. That was so bold. Understanding where Misu is, unstable. They've got a cheeky little crossfire. Malibu continues to push forward. The Hunter Fury now off of the swing. They've gotten flashed up. Lazy Lion with two. Misu with another. Just Kari. And Kari's been good. Unstable's very weak. You still have the op in the hands of Katarina. She's just going to defuse. She's going to hold it the entire way. And DSG are going to get to nine. That is unbelievable, actually. Dude, going for everything there. The flash up to get up. The nade as well. Then the flash follow up is hit by a, a ult out of nowhere from Lazy Lion as the retake is going on. And it gets three players because it's perfectly positioned to catch both people in hell and people up on top of heaven. Look at this. It's lower, and it almost tags Malibu. Yeah. And then she swings, gets three different locations, three different tags, three different kills. That is wild. Hell, triple, Need to drop. and back to main. Paranoia out once again. Pacey from Newt. They must have liked something that they saw in A, and they want to try to hit it once more. The drone out to clear the way, but nothing following it yet. Meanwhile, you see from DSG, the response from that is they may want to try to re-aggress and maybe re-clear going through mid. Shut 
and not give up on the say side at all. Last time, Summertime had the option to go for the ult in post. This time, it's not as much there as there's this flank coming in. Kari's gonna try to hold on to it. Malibu as well. It's gonna be difficult to, yeah, this is gonna be really difficult to hold. Easy Lion still alive. There's the swing. Malibu dropping them. Millie getting another one on the site too. It's just Misu and Katarina left. One enemy remaining. That was filth out of his hand. Katarina. It's gonna have to be another heroic play. 1v2. Summertime week. Hunter's Fury online. Gets it to half. Maybe stays alive. How? How? She's got a shot at this, Bala. Oh, Malibu with the swing gets the kill. That would have been insane. Yeah. But a 3k out from Malibu to secure the round Match and point. to get new to series point. Great play there from Malibu, too. Waiting the patience the entire time that ult is going off. And then using the time where Katarina has to get to half on that last stick. And so she's swinging to just knock out entirely. Not even trying to play the time. And we're oh, no, it's actually half entirely. Has to actually just peak to buy the time for summertime to get back into this. They're sending it again on this A side, Doug. And DSG have no more timeouts to be able to really make an adaptation to stop this sort of push. Paranoid coming through, dodging it. Dash or updraft over from Zan gets punished, finally. I mean, that's a good way to try to stop it. <laughs> I'll throw the brakes on that real quick. A great opener out from Unstable. And you hear it, they feign rotating off, trampling away just to quietly creep back forward. Nice. One condition there. I could end up winning. Remember, Lazy Lion used the ult two rounds ago. In that round, it was a massive swing round for them because they invested quite a lot. They gained themselves some buffer. DSG did. Didn't have to make it as clean anymore. But Kari, if she gets an ult up in these last couple of rounds, which at this point is guaranteed, that could be everything as well. So 45. Both smokes available too. Two flash from Malibu. This is ahead. Very much a full execute. Yeah, this is certainly doable. That Molly's gonna delay the exit for a little bit. Unstable, not able to land the shot. Kari takes a little bit of damage now. 33 HP, 30 no armor. Left. And I think the drone just got cleared out as well. And there's a lot missing from this co. Unstable, not able to dash away. Falls. And they've cracked the site open. They've gotten exactly what they needed. Kari and Summertime both so weak. I mean, all of them. They've taken so much damage. This is a very winnable 2v3. That's a 2v2 now. Do you go aggressive? She's going to go aggressive. Easy Lion. See if they can spot one and does. They can play this timely. That's a lockdown. Millie on the swing. Five bullets left. None of them are going to land. DSG are not done yet. A slight misstep from Kari there. I mean, put in the lockdown too. That's one of the biggest tools they had to convert one of these future rounds. Here, they think they have it. They think the game's over. In the 4v5, forcing their way on site. Finding the kills, just falling. Again, in one of those situations you can't imagine they're coming. But because that lockdown is so vulnerable, she ends up trying to peek and Lazy Lion again. These last couple of rounds out of those timeouts that we had has been huge on these retakes. Breaking the lockdown, taking out Kari. Now Newt is forced to save for one last big right, attempt to close this out prior to overtime. Katarina crept forward. Newt, they haven't shown very much yet. Oh, interesting, off the knife teleports. Stays alive. Gives the position away. Hard for middle here, though. As Katarina's TP brings her into market, Sova rotates off of them, too. Unstable on a deep line. With the op. Who moves first? Who creeps forward? It's unstable. She's recognizing there's a timing there where maybe somebody's peaked ahead of the rest of the team. And that's exactly what happens. One of the still a marshal in play for summertime, still a guardian in the hands of Zan. You can't end. You're ending A again here. And one thing that you, you can't really do is show your hand for the final round. Exactly what sort of ideas you're going to go 30 for. Seconds left. Right. 
Maybe oh, they get Sam the edge. Finding really nice timing and getting through, but Hannah and Lazy Lion, the reinforcements that they had, the numbers that they had on the site, are just insurmountable. Third time's got a Marshall. That's the first kill. The second not shot, not going to land. DSG get to 11. Newt down to their final attempt at avoiding overtime. Yeah, they've got to slow things down, I think. I think you saw that on the eco right here, kind of realizing the situation that's ahead of them. And once again, this is, this is not necessarily. And them coming out of the timeouts and just losing their identity and what got them this far. This is them really trying to end it. They've been on match point for two rounds now. After that crazy round from summertime with the Hunter's Fury. Washington mid updraft to Ash. We saw this before. It didn't really work out this time. Almost finds some value. She hit it this time, for sure, but then now she's stuck. The flash out and the kill landed. That's the problem with those types of dash plays. You get left alone with no one to follow up with you. I'm thinking back to that. If they had the lockdown, look at Kari's position. She's deep on B. They could have been really hitting. Instead, that gets used in that failed round where it was an eco. They could have ended it. Pressuring mid finally. That trip hasn't really been getting broken at all. Been really sight hits all around for new. It's gotten them this far. There was the only ult that Newt had. Used for info, clearing out back B. Two players I mean, trying to take the B site right now with 40 seconds left. The reinforcements arriving. They knew that there was a player made in Malibu because of the drone, and they knew that they wanted to lean B because of the Omen ult. Now Lazy Line playing the soft angle with an Odin. This is going to be difficult for Newt to get through. And there it is, the Hunter Fury. Now Malibu's going to push that surely. There it is, but you're facing three other members. Yeah, you got one kill, but it was just not enough. Now Millie left in a 1v4. Damage dealt just a little bit, getting it to 1v3 and kills the last, but that's not enough. Overtime on the cards. And DSG is Switching looking side. fully revitalized Overtime. as this half was really nicely handled from them. From the onslaughts that they were throwing over they towards that A site, Newt was. DSG continued to respond over and over. And now here as well. Lazy Lion, 25 and 17, the Placing hero for DSG me. right now. Seriously, to bring this back into overtime as Newt was yeah. on match point. It looked like they might close it out, especially after that timeout. Only having the op in the hands of Unstable. This time it's the op in the hands of Zan. You gotta, you gotta highlight. I mean, given how this map has gone, you gotta highlight it. Defensive side ascent seems to be favored. It was a ferocious comeback from DSG on that side, but now it's Newt, who should, in theory, have that advantage. Off the deal too. Right at the beginning of the I round. Can't use that. Yeah, it was just glass cannon out of his hand. Shocked are cleared, but Zan's ahead of it with the op. Smoked off. I mean, do you dare push forward a shorty in a position like this? Unstable with sure footing, not giving a position away. I feel like this, these two, these last couple of rounds are just going to be decided by the narrowest of margins. Everything's so close. Molly buys a little bit more time. But the drone confirms no one's around. Is this formula going to work again? Katarina's shoulder Dude. almost cost her her life. It's so good from Katarina, though. Always taking these really tight sliver angles because she can yeah. hit the one taps. Right. And she stays alive every time. That's so critical for a player like that. Everybody Timing. crosses with the cloud burst. That's really nice. But again, there's two backside players. Kari, that summertime, you saw them do work in that first half. But now, the, I mean, the keys to the castle have been revealed. Two members back, Sonny Kari falls, Summertime. Can you be the hero once more? Back in the exact same spot. The first kill found, the second two. And still two more up for grabs. Make that three, not able to get four. Millie left alone, a 1v1. Katarina committing to the spike plant. 38 HP. I mean, nothing there. Can Millie stop this? Creeping forward, fully healthy, full armor, still has Position given away, the shot comes through. The pen gets new once again to series point. What in the world are these rounds? 
I thought for sure. Look at the way that DHD was approaching the backside there, completely split up. And still, summertime, able to hold on enough for Millie to hit this nasty clutch. Dude, the fact that, yeah, the fact that Summertime gets three here is insane. The, the crazy part to me is she's not even ADSing her Odin. Like, oh, yeah. Like, what? Okay. And, and if I'm if I'm not mistaken, the last bit of damage onto Katarina was from Summertime that got her to 38 HP that allowed Millie to hit the pen through that box. Yeah. Summertime MVP after that play. <laughs> Unreal. This is where Newt has struggled, though. Imagine from the top towards tree. For maybe a fast split. We've seen this before. Millie got caught out because she was holding the flash this time. The drone's coming in at the same time. Not going to be the same factor. Flash coming through, pushes them off trees, and to punish. San Tanini at the game. Hannah hunted San with the second. 34 HP, unstable, play, unstable playing down in hell and not landing a single shot. This very well could be it. It's just tatters left for DSG. A 2v5, I think we've seen one of those this series, but a second? That would be crazy. When the stakes are this high? New poise for revenge right here. Right now. Enemy remaining. One left. Lazy Lion gets the first, gets the second, but that's all it is. 14-12 in favor of Newt, and you're right. Revenge found as they take down DSG. Huge win for what is... The, play, or the team that everybody's eyes turned when they called. Looking to see, finally, this team's been impressing so many people. Finally, they're here yeah. in the main event for the first time. And for the first time, too, instantly taking down DSG, who are formidable foes. Don't get me wrong. Newt showed up on this series, though. I mean, lost the first map when they were in the lead, then completely dominated on bind, I think, for the majority of that map, despite it ending up close. And then here on the set as well, showing the resilience when they needed it most is just crazy from all these players on you. What a fantastic series. I mean, they showed a ton of depth. We talked about it throughout the series. You mentioned the resilience that they showed on that last in that last map. There's a lot to like about this Newt squad. And again, this was against the very same team that number one eliminated them previously. But number two, they, I mean, DSG were the bells of the ball previously. They were the ones that everyone was talking about is this new face that all of a sudden can make a very deep push an outrageous performance out from Newt. We're going to throw it down to the desk to break down that series because there's a lot to talk about for Newt. Well, there was definitely a lot to be said after Series 2 when Disguise was the one to knock Newt Newt out of contention for the main event. They weren't wanting to hear much, but Newt Newt finally getting that last word in as they're going to be sending Disguise down into that lower bracket Sapphire after that overtime win in Map 3. Yeah, I mean, we knew this match was going to be close, but I think everyone still had Disguise as a favorite, but Newt Newt is so impressive. Every single one of their players had incredible moments throughout this entire series. And they were so much fun to watch too, because we got to see a little highlight from each player, but the way they're playing, they're always adapting. They're always kind of pushing the boundary here, Dan. and. At some points, it looked like it was difficult for Disguise, who, I mean, they were all stepping up in their own right, but it seemed like they just could not quite keep up with it. Yeah, we, we talked about a lot of scenarios where Disguise is able to come back from the scenarios, but Newton just had the perfect read every single time, and you can tell the work that this team has been putting from a team that has stayed together for quite some time, winning four out of the six pistols, winning two of the bonus rounds right at the beginning. There were so many scenarios that they put themselves on that were so favorable for them that it was just, it seems like meant to happen right at the end of Ford Newt Newt. The things were getting a little bit closer, especially, I mean, on this map going all the way to overtime, but Newt Newt taking control and, and once again making it farther and farther and, and being able to deal with those difficulties that they had to before, but now getting ahead and winning them. Yeah, it's really that like classic like Cinderella story, right? We said they've moved up every single series and you know, just making it to the main event was a big accomplishment, but to punch DSG down into the lower bracket, they're, you know, now they're going to be the talk of the tournament. This is obviously a huge win for them across the board. We saw really, really great performances. A yeah. name we didn't really mention in the first two maps came out to play when it mattered. Lazy Lion had a hell of a performance here on Ascent. 
A hundred percent. If Disguise was to take this map right at the very end, it would have been from that step up performance at Lazy Lion right at the end. Almost that hero that the team needed, but it wasn't quite enough in those twilight hours. And now, I mean, it was all about DSG last time around, but Newt Newt, they're the ones to keep an eye on going forward now, Dan. It's it's great to see when teams are, are able to come up with these performances where everybody individually for Newt Newt had their moments to shine. I think uh, you two were mentioning a little bit of what we saw for Lazy Lion, but Summertime and the same page was doing exactly the same with some plays where Summertime was swinging with an Odin and finding a kill. And there, there were so many plays like that one, but it seems like it was all across. Everybody connected for Newt Newt. And... Talking a little bit more on highlighting, let's say our MVP here for Newt Newt, we have to talk about our Sentinel, our propeller of the team here in Kari, because, I mean, there is multiple times. I mean, look at this. This guy's just pushing in the back of the boathouse, and as long as Kari can get those two, Dan, I mean, Kari's then looking real good. It is a player that we talked about at the beginning of the day, right before the match started. We talked about Kari, and how good this player is at the center role, but also when Carrie has to stronghold one of the sides is going to do that to perfection. And there were a lot of difficulties as well that Carrie had to face uh, trying to get, you know, this guy's trying to get a read into what Carrie was going to do, especially on this last map. But I was able to deal with it like it was nothing. Like it was the easiest job in the world. And it is a big part of that success that Newt Newt is finding and the, the success that they found today, which was the test, right? We, we talked about Newt Newt having really good scores against all their teams in the open qualifier. We were wondering where they were going to look, where they were going to be facing when they played DSG and the stronger teams. And I mean, they take them down. Well, they still definitely have a test ahead of them. They might have beaten the bells of the ball, as Doug said, in disguise, but there's plenty of kingdoms ahead. And as a game changer of royalty, they're going to have to try and take down. But this is a great first step, and they'll be able to continue that run in the upper bracket. We'll have a chance to sit down with Nunu real quick, but first off, enjoy our Prime Gaming post match highlights. Well, after that 2-1 victory over Disguise, Newt Newt is going to be able to continue their run going on forward in the upper bracket of the main event here in Valorant Game Changers. And talking to me a little bit before they play their next match, we have Coach Hmm on the line here. First off, congratulations on this win because Series 2, DSG was actually the reason that Newt Newt couldn't make it to the main event, knocking them out with just one game to go. Now you get to take that win, the first stage of the main event. How are you and the rest of the team feeling? Um, we're pretty, feeling pretty good. I'm, I'm still shaky after that one. I don't know why. They, I feel like they'd be way more shaky, but they're, they're just like, oh, I'll just go on to the next match. We'll beat the Shopify too, um, which is really nice to hear. I think um, the first game was Jitters. Uh, we've been kind of uh, cooking on Breeze, both uh, me and um, my assistant coach um, kind of thought that that was one of our best maps, and um, we decided to try and pick it. Um, shout out to Inthra from Footballist and um, Heretics for helping us out last minute. Uh, he's been pretty nice. Um, yeah, it was just, um, I guess we can work on some stuff, but. Okay, 
always a lesson to be learned and even if that first map didn't entirely end up in Newt Newt's way, uh, the way that Newt Newt was able to come out of the gate on all three maps, the aggression, the score they able to rack up right out of the gate, what is that key to that explosive start? Uh, really, Summer's been, uh, like the IGL, Summer has been um, like the main driving force. Uh, I've learned really to just stay uh, away from like the main like strategy uh, implementation, really just help uh, Summer out as of recently. Um, realistically, like Summer's the main brains for all of this. Um, and like you don't see it on on, st on stream, but on in practice, it's it's really methodical. And um, you, you see like a lot of strategy behind it once you, once you get in like the team speak and the Discord calls. There's definitely a really fun strategy to explore seeing them play, especially Seen it all pan out so great. And then now looking ahead at this main event, Newt Newt's kind of one of these dark horse teams. There's always has to be one for this type of event. Why isn't this a team to be slept on though? Um, we probably, from what um, I know, they will probably make it to grand finals. Um, I'm not saying this because I'm biased. Um, I think we toss versus version one on bind last time we played them. Um, I think it should have gone at least another map. Um, and next time we play them, we will at least get a map, most likely, not on most likely, 50 50 chance we can beat them. I think we are a clear favorite for this tournament. Super exciting to hear. I'll let you get back with the team, but before I do, do you have any final words? Anything for the fans ahead of this main bracket run? Um, so I'll just say this now. I um, So I, I did some counter shredding and I helped um, some people who hadn't done it before. Uh, shout out to them. Uh, they, were, they actually helped me out with the counter strats, which is kind of funny. So uh, DSG got beat by two gold players. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> Throwing a little fire right at the end there. All right. <laughs> All right. Just congrats again on this win. Best of luck going forward, okay? Yeah. See ya. Or not see ya. <laughs> well, it's, it's all see you later. It's all see you later out there. Exciting stuff coming out from Newt Newt. Now it's time to be taking a look at two other teams because, of course, we got to keep up to date with what V1's doing, right? We're going to be taking a short break, but make sure to be back soon. I wish for the amazing new iPhone 15 Pro. <laughs> Sean! Do you mean this one, the one with titanium? Switch to Verizon, you can trade in any iPhone and get the new iPhone 15 Pro on them. Trade in any iPhone in any condition for a new iPhone 15 Pro on us, only on Verizon. Red Bull gives you wings.